Well, what do you get when you mix six successful independent women, a camera, and a city that never sleeps? Nothing but blood, sweat, and heels, baby! That's right, and we've got the cast of Bravo's latest reality sensation here with us today. Welcome Melissa Ford, Bree Bythewood, Micah Hughes, and Daisy Llewellyn. Yes, yes, push the heads off. <laughs> yes, let's get us together. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Ladies, Hi. welcome, welcome. <laughs> Woo, it could be a choir, too. You're just like, Hi! Hi. <laughs> Okay, so you've got to tell us six alpha females in New York City. Who gets hit first? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> who, you who got the knockout? No one got hit. Um, no one got hit. You know, okay. I, I have to, you know, speaking for all the ladies, you know, we kind of got to know each other prior to filming, some of us more than others. And we saw that the norm kind of was, you know, to solve conflict in a rather immature fashion. And we were being portrayed in a negative way more often than a positive mm. way. We made the conscious decision to try our best to sit on our hands when we are getting a little with each other. You know? So are you trying to say it's a conscious decision? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so nice. We're all singing Kumbaya the whole show. Oh, see? However, I mean, she's right. From her point of view, yes, that's what she did. But I think that, you know, anytime you have strong personalities and real issues and, you know, broken hearts and happy days and, and horrible nights, there's going to be some conflict. So, and new relationships. And new right. relationships. Each other and we're putting to, we're spending so much time together. It's mm -hmm. hard when mm -hmm. someone doesn't know you and you're being yourself and you don't know if they're going to accept you for who you are. Yeah. Okay, so how it's would you life. rate this on the scale of the other ratchet TV that's out there, like the housewives, you know, Love and hip hop and all that type of thing. That's what I'm talking about. Is that we? I mean, yeah, you got blood drawn at Demetria's party. Yeah, I got cut. You got cut. Is that because you? Wait, 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 wait. Explain the blood. Is that because you didn't know how to cut the cake? Or I mean, explain the blood. Eat the cake, anime. I don't think I got cut. And no one even came to my rescue. I was waiting for an ambulance of some sort, but you know, I am a bit dramatic. I understand that. I think just in comparison to the other shows, we do stand out a bit. I mean. We are six independent women, six professional women. We're all in our 30s and 40s. And I think no that children. we have no children, single, because no one is married. Um, one of the ladies is engaged, but Animals. nonetheless. Yes, and we have pets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we have pets. Pets, yeah. pets with similar names. <laughs> yes. Now, um, you all brought up something very interesting here, and I want to jump into it. Okay, so we've got these six successful ladies. No one's, no one's married, and no one has any kids. That's rare. Welcome and to now, the Now, now, now <laughs> do, is there a correlation there between success and not having mm. well, that rela those relationships or those ties? I mean, welcome to New York City. I mean, yeah. you know, I say it all the time, it really is a struggle to juggle. We are all successful, smart, and we're all completely different, and yet no one has, except for Demetria, has the ring. So the thing mm. is, we talk about it on the show. You know, does it take everything? Can you have it all? I do believe that you can have it all, and I definitely plan on having it all, but you know, sometimes it's just timing, and living in a city like New York City, more often than not, you see 30s, 40s, successful, no kids, not married. If we were in Texas, we probably what, what? have five yeah. kids, yeah. a big house, and, you know, two dogs in a driveway, but it's just the culture. So sometimes I wonder, does this work against us or for us? But at the same, okay. at the, at the, at the, sorry, Mike. At the same time, you, you clearly see that we enjoy being single. We do enjoy our freedom, and we do enjoy um, the fact that freedom, you know, that kind of freedom allows us to pursue our career goals um, and our ambitions and be as driven and be unapologetic by the fact that we are driven women, you know? Well, let's, before we start, can we introduce? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Introduce the audience <laughs> the to not. you. So let's go down the line and tell us, you know, tell us your name okay. and who, you know, what what part you play on the show. Okay. Um, well, my name is Daisy Llewellyn. I'm the queen of effortless chic. Um, I'm a style expert, TV personality, and author of a shopping guide called Never Pay Retail Again. And friend to arise here. And Always very welcome close to stop by and have us on fashion. <laughs> and right. my name is Micah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be very Mariah right now. I'm going. <laughs> And I do it my way. I like that. And besides that, <laughs> uh, I'm in fashion. I've been in fashion for over 20 years. I own a modeling agency and a skincare business. Yeah, she's so modest. She's, she's modeled famous. for some of the biggest names in the industry. Valentina. Yes. yes. Oh, well. Represented by Wilhelmina and yes. Ford yes. modeling. Right on. Okay. Yes. Right. Doing your thing. I am gorgeous. Yes. I like it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm Bree Bythewood. I cannot sing. I'll start with that. Okay. I won't try to. I lip sync happy birthday. I don't sing at all. Not even happy birthday. happy birthday. I did tonight. not sing a note today when we sang wow. happy birthday, but I'm a great lip singer. Whose birthday? Oh, one of the ladies um, from the Bravo. network. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So like, I don't sure. know. Can I say it? I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. My chair is twisting. Sorry. Okay. Um, so my name is Bree Bythewood. I work in real estate. I've worked in real estate development for seven years and in real estate sales and rentals with Douglas Elliman for the past year now. Um, mm -hmm. I'm huge in philanthropy and I am very, um, I guess, family oriented and focused on my career in the show. So. Yeah. And you also have like a family development company too. The right? real estate development right. company that I work mm -hmm. for is uh, La Cité Development and that is uh, owned by my, my parents, Keep my father, the family. my brother. I like that. Oh, yeah. And That's you are, power, you work power. with Melissa, correct? I do not work no. with Melissa. No, no, no. We're both in so a real estate you. agent with another firm. Yeah, <laughs> so just okay. we're in both in real estate. Field. However, yeah, we're in estate. various fields. I have two lives in real estate. I have the development side with my family, and then like Melissa, also a real estate agent. Yeah. But mine is with Douglas Elliman. Yeah, okay. we um, that was kind of not even planned whatsoever. Um, I'm Melissa Ford, mm -hmm. and I'm a former video model turned um, entrepreneur. I've uh, been a actress, model, TV host. You name it, I'm a renaissance woman. <laughs> um, big into philanthropy. Um, I've been an AIDS activist for the last eight years, Center for the Center for Disease and um, uh, Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Um, and now I'm in real estate, mm. and that has been within the last year. And most people are like, "What?" the hell is that? It's like a yeah, huge... I was going to say, do we get to hear about your transition from being with the, some of the biggest rappers in the game to now being a businesswoman? Well, what's really funny is the fact that I was pretty much chucking up my deuces to the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. It just, yeah. the ways in which it looked like people needed to, you know, stay relevant and, you know, kind of increase their popularity, it just wasn't lining up with who I was as an individual. And I was like, well, maybe this is the time for me to exit stage mm -hmm. left. And so I thought about, well, what's a viable career? What, how can I utilize this Rolodex, this healthy Rolodex of people that I've met over the last 13 years? And I thought, you know, real estate might be very lucrative. And so I went into real estate, and then Bravo came knocking like, hi. I was like, oh, OK. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I Were there any reservations? They are having, having been in entertainment, having been out front, mm. people knew you, people were always in your business, who you're dating. Yeah. Were you afraid to go to reality? Enormous amount of reservations, just mm. because I had always tried to keep my private life private. 95% um, of the time, the blogs got who I was dating very, very wrong. Most mm -hmm. of the times, I'd never even met them before, right. but <laughs> had a full fledged Or just happened to be standing right. next to them, and they're like, oh, she's dating them. Exactly, <laughs> and so to actually open the doors to my home, figuratively and literally, for mm. the cameras, and and just hang, letting it all hang out there, there was a lot of trepidation. But mm. I have an incredible cast mm -hmm. <laughs> to help me through the process. Because we're all doing the same thing. Yeah, right? you're bringing yeah. these cameras into your lives. How intimate in your lives will we get to see? Do they follow oh. you home? <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> Who's it's business? So right, right. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's so intimate. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. Like in the air the first episode. Whoa, Daisy, I'm shocked. Daisy. Well, yeah. oh, yeah. right. well, I suffered a, a traumatic family loss, and they were there the whole way. Wow. So, yeah. um, even down to DC. So, well, how oh, is yeah. it being so emotional in front of the cameras? Right. It's hard. Oh. It's weird. I didn't even. It was. I just didn't even know how to process it. It yeah. was weird to know that a camera is watching, and yet I'm still trying to deal with something. And a real life situation. And it's, yeah. yeah, and it's a real life situation, and I'm being honest, but yet I'm, I'm I'm looking over, and there's a camera, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? I'm like, it's 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 really weird. It's now, strange. I, I want to ask you a question, Michael, because you are also the only person on the show. Correct me if I'm wrong. The only person in a relationship. No, right. Dimitri no. is. Dimitri is also. Dimitri yes. is engaged. Okay, yes. but we do see. I, I, I saw you see the, Terry. Right. Yes. We see your boyfriend. So let's talk here. Since Dimitri is not here, talk to me. No, <laughs> the, ladies out, the ladies outside need yeah. to understand. Oh. We're looking to you all for guidance. So tell me here, what is the secret to your work-life balance, Ooh. personal? How you fit a man in work. with all that stuff, yeah, girl? With all the success. Well, I think it, it's more he fits into my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how it worked. He Say fits it again. into my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so I've never been a woman to, well, no, I have been the woman that um, 
conform. That, that yeah. kind of conforms. Yeah. It's like yeah. when a guy really likes you, you're like, okay, then he's the one. Then I should like him. You know, yeah. he's got all these qualities that are good, but it does, he doesn't have everything. But okay, that's good. And now I'm yeah. at a point in my life where he's got to fit into my life and what yeah. I want. And there are fundamental check boxes now that yeah. I look for. And so, yeah. A lot of those have to be checked off. That's okay, so the other three, there's no rings, but are you still dating it. now? Are you <laughs> available? Tell us the I'm inside. Available. phone number is now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 like, I'm very available. Well, no, no, you're saying that because I, but I remember that you said in the show that you want a baby. You oh, yeah. want you no, want so all of them. Too. Christian and Carter. Yeah, Christopher. They're and named Carter. already. Christopher wow. and Carter. I, Sorry, Christopher. I, Sorry, you know, I am definitely a career girl, but I'm also very traditional. So I don't really feel like I have to compromise anything. I'm going to have a husband. I'm going to have two kids. You know, okay. I just feel like I want Mr. Right and not Mr. Right now. Because in New York City, it's very easy to date. You can have a new date every day. It's not really a big deal. Everyone's attractive. Everyone's successful. But it's about finding your soulmate. So until then, it's just me and Jesus. I, and and I'm pray the Lord. The Lord will awesome. bring you a man. We love Jesus. We love Jesus. <laughs> All right, Bria, Melissa, give um, us the low down. You know, yes, I, I am single. Okay. Um, I date, as Daisy was saying. You, there's dating, and there's dating the Mr. Right Now and the yeah. Mr. Right. Yeah, so don't I don't have a ring on my finger. So until that day comes, I will always consider myself single, okay. whether I'm in a relationship or not. I'm single. Okay. Now, right. Melissa, I have a specific request to ask you that. <laughs> so <laughs> my boy's like, tell Melissa. No. <laughs> and you uh, had some heartbreak on the show, yeah. right? Yeah, um, really? you or know, you're nursing a heartbreak. I'm, I'm, I am nursing um, uh, a. Not necessarily a broken heart. I'm getting over a horrific breakup. Mm. Yeah. And we see that on the cameras as well. They, they yeah, you do. Yeah. You, you know, I mean, you I cry. I, and I, drink. I ball. We cry. I, 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 I cry. I drink. <laughs> I laugh. <laughs> I drink. I bet you she's a cry pretty crier too. She's like, huh? She does. Yeah. 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 I said that to the other day. I told her, I said, gosh, she's such a pretty guy. We have a clip from the show. Yes, we got to see some of this action. Take a look. Take a look. Oh, gosh. Everybody here, I'm sure, has been cheated on. You just don't trust them, don't they? We are women with very strong opinions. Women can be emotional, and that has to do a lot with period. That's bullshit. Let the games begin. Daisy chimed in that she also doesn't believe a woman can lead. Are you gonna write about it? Yeah. Crazed, so I'm crazed. That's a little tiny bit foul. I haven't split up a fight in a very long time. What are you gonna do? Start brawling like hood rats? Next time is gonna be a problem. You gonna cut me, you gonna throw a glass. You let me get cut in and push. Did I know it was gonna explode like Hiroshima? No. And like somebody's gonna stop for me. Right. Well, and then, <laughs> right. We catch a cab that night. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. We, New wow. York. We did catch a cab, but it went oh, a little haywire. haywire. Yeah. But wait, it looks like you guys are having just as much fun as us watching that clip. Is this <laughs> the first time you've seen this? No. Because oh. we're, we're reliving it. Okay. We're reliving it. The thing it. about, you know, I think the thing about our show, people ask me every day, is it real? Is it scripted? Is it fake? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, listen, this show, I don't know about other shows, but our show is real. That's why we're laughing because we're like, oh my gosh, when did you say that? And we weren't in yeah. every scene. So for me to see a scene with my two girls, right. I'm like, what were they doing? Because I uh, wasn't there. Uh, they can see a scene, you know, where I, they weren't there. So it's like, it's entertaining. I want to watch the show. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, it's very, it's real life. Mm -hmm. It is. It's real life. It's obviously, it, we can't show everything yeah. because that would take, you know, weeks and months to do that. But it's snippets of our real life. So our reactions, our emotion, it's very real. It's very raw. So. Well, since it is so real, did, have you regretted anything yet? It's like, oh, I wish I wouldn't have done that, said that, wish they hadn't caught ears, that right. on camera. Me and Michael we were just talking about yeah, the fact we were that we were, we were saying yeah. that we would stay up late at sleep, night, like, losing sleep. sleep, like yeah. trying to re, like, you know, go over every single you thing that you up. said, yeah, you did, morning, like, can't, can't yeah, it, you know. I, I think like we that. also get to a point I, where I, we all, I think we all own who we are. Like, we are who we are, so we own that, so it's, yeah. Let me ask you a question. So, so you, I, Finish the sentence for me. I will know I made it when what? I don't have to be asked if I made it. You just know. Ooh, I like oh, that's right on. that one. Okay. <laughs> I think that's the answer. <laughs> Anyone else? I was going to say, would I have it all figured out? <laughs> when I have it all when figured out. Does that ever happen? An opinion <laughs> no. molder. Uh, an opinion oh, molder. Yeah. Um, when I have my household name. 
Oh, I like that. So it's like Martha Stewart, Daisy Llewellyn, like, you know, those girls. Well, that's, that's going to be on yes. Sunday. I okay. know, right? That's... It'll be after Sunday, trust me. But before we go, we have to know who's the biggest diva of the group. Oh, diva? Uh oh. oh. <laughs> and right, right, right. she's not here. Oh, she's not here. Okay. I don't think so. Oh, look. So, I don't know. So it's not I, I don't know. I think, you know, it's, I think we all have our moments. Okay. I think that we all yeah. have our moments. Yeah. So basically, I, the audience will judge they will for the themselves, guys. Judge. And you get a chance. Okay. Blood, Sweat, and Heroes <laughs> premieres this Sunday, January 5th at 9. Catch them all. We we'll can't wait. We'll definitely be watching. Thank yes. you, ladies, Thank so you much. Me. And congratulations Thank in advance. You. All right, you're Thank watching you. Arise Entertainment 360.